Okay, to create ringtones entirely on your iPhone, you do need to invest in a handful of apps. Uh, music, which is obviously already on the iPhone. Song Express, which allows us to send music from our iTunes collection to ourselves. Audio Share, which allows us to then manipulate the song we just sent to ourselves. And Garage Band, which then can finally create the ringtone. So let's start. So I need to use one of my own tracks which doesn't have a um, you know content ID on it. Um, I have to remember how to even find it because let's face it, uh, the music app is a bit crap. Um, what's it called? Um, Okay, so this is the track here. I don't know why it's got that title on it. I'm thinking, yeah. Let's, I think. But basically, I think the end of this track might make a good alert or ringtone or something. Um, let's just play that. Not this bit. So the question is, you know, is how do you um, get that? into a ringtone without using a PC, without using a computer. So let's take it through step by step. So you do have to first, if you're using iTunes Match, it does need to be downloaded to the device. I'm not gonna show you how to do that because I can't even remember because it is a pain in the ass, but you can do it. Um, so let's go to Song Express. Let's search for steam rolling, add that, and then rather unintuitively you press cancel, then done. Okay, so it doesn't actually look like I've downloaded this in iCloud, iTunes, whatever the hell it is, um, iTunes match, um, so I need to remember how to do that which I'm not sure if I do remember how to do that. So let's just kill that. Um, let's have a look. Um, let's stop it playing. Please stop, please stop. Um, so let's go to Jeez, I really don't know how, really don't remember how to download. Oh, oh, so we need to find it in here, right? Except it's still. Oh, for fuck's sake! So it's in here somewhere. So let's see if we can go down to S. No, no, we've moved. Yeah, I really love this application. It's just so let's go down to S because it's not working over there. Let's stop. You see, I love this. Is why I hate the music app. No, it's, uh, uh, stop. Okay, let's go down to S because you know Apple, the king of fucking ah. Uh, of UE design, you know, they don't make it easy to find an individual track and download it in iTunes Match. So we'll see on C, D, E. Oh my goodness, there it is. Alright, so there it is. 
and yeah so that failed because it's not downloaded so I'm going to download that now so that is now downloaded da, 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 downloaded so now I should be able to go to Song Express select a song steamroll in add that cancel how useful done right and now you can see it's processing it and I can send it so I'm going to send that to me and then I'm going to wait for it to arrive in my inbox so I've got my song there I'm going to tap to download it hold press it there and open in open in audio share I think normally it crashes yep crashes but you reopen it and it should actually be in there um, so it clicks the wave So anyway, um, so now we just want to edit the bit that we want, um, but to do that, we want to copy it. So if we do copy, which is this, so we've opened the track in Audio Share, which we've sent to ourselves via Song Express. Copy it, and we want general pasteboard. And I said that it's copied so we now go to garage band wait for that to load up you see I've been mucking around here already and we want to create a new project um, I'm not sure it really matters what we create um, let's do that let's just uh, just to create, a, just uh, tape a bit of sh anything. Stop that. Let's go to the track view, which I think is this button here. And then we can delete that somehow, can we? Anyway, somewhere here there's a paste. Can't remember where. Great, isn't it? Um, all right, paste. So that's pasted in the thing I copied from Audio Share, which I sent to myself from my music library using Song Express. Complete with metronome, which I don't really want. And like I say, I just wanted that last bit. Um, so can I, I don't know if I can just cut that bit out. Can I move that and move that? I don't really know how to use GarageBand much because it's kind of annoying. Oh, I can just move that. Can I zoom in a bit? Oh, I wanted to play up here actually. Thanks. Oh, so it hasn't actually pasted the whole thing in. That's useful, isn't it? Um, let's undo. And then, and then undo that as well. I don't know what the hell I've been doing, but I want to undo it all. Right, okay, so this is the whole thing. So did it actually finish properly? Maybe it didn't then. No, it doesn't. 
Well, I know you get the idea. If you get something into this into into Garage Band, and I'll, maybe I've just done it completely wrong. Wouldn't surprise me. Like I say, I don't really like Garage Band because you know I move the bloody thing. So anyway, let's use the start of it then, shall we? Because then let's stop and cut. I don't know. How do we cut that? I don't fucking know. Um. What have we got there for you? God. And you know that a ringtone can be up to 40 seconds long, um, but I'd really want to just do an alert. Up to. And then we need to go back to my songs. It saves it. My song, Ugh. see I hate Garage Band, I don't, I don't understand how it works because I'm not a musician. So let's call this Alert Test and then select that one. So we selected Alert Test. And we're going to share it as a ringtone. So, a name of alert to yeah, in ring. I don't know why. Well, that's three I've already done previously. Uh, so, I'll export that one as well. And then use sound as. Uh, let's sign out to contact. And let's uh, assign it to Arak, shall we? Assign this text tone. Done. And that's it. And if we go to if we now go to settings sound uh god where's the sound gone sounds and then we select a ringtone somewhere in here that's what we created uh but i do like to use uh this one Uh, so there you go, that's, that's how you do it um, using these four apps, uh, your music library, Song Express, Audio Share, and GarageBand. And you'll see there, didn't use a PC, and I can assure you that alert was not already on my phone. Honestly, it wasn't. This is how you can do it. But it seems as though perhaps uh, there's a slight error with my file export. But you get the idea, I hope.